Welcome to New Gameplay Today. I'm Kyle Hilliard here with Wesley LeBlanc. Hello, hello. How's it going, man? Going pretty good. Very excited to uh, see this game in action after uh, Matt's awesome feature on it in our magazine. Yeah, so this is Chia. T-C-H-I... Oh, excuse me. T-C-H... Yeah, I-A. And um, it's, it's interesting. It's an open world game where you explore this island as this little girl. The island is inspired by the real world location New Caledonia, which Matt Miller actually went and visited uh, for a feature. But um, yeah, I got a chance to play just, you know, basically from the beginning of the game and play a bunch. And it's it's this pretty I'm it's cool so far. It's this uh, it's very Breath of the Wild inspired in the sense that it's like you have this big lush open area to explore. And then you can also, let me see if I can get over this ridge. Maybe this would be a good place to do it. You can do this. Ooh, which is like, yeah, that's you know, good. That That's just, that's good for me. That's all. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, um, but it's interesting. It's it's very, like, uh, make your own adventure is kind of, like, really how it feels, at least in this early stage. Like, there's not a lot of, like, you know, go do this specifically, necessarily. I had a mission in the beginning where I had to go find a crab. And that was, like, kind of it. And even that was pretty loose. It was kind of like, yeah, you know, go do that, I guess. We'll put a little marker on your map. Um, Is there, uh, like, an overarching story? Like, does the game set up, like, a larger narrative happening here? Or are you just kind of a girl on a beautiful island? So this version that I played kind of um, has it uh, loose. Like, I didn't really get a lot of context for the story. But my understanding is that there is a story. There is a reason you're exploring this island. Um, but, uh, at least, at least in this, the version I've played or what I've played, it, it was really like more pushing you to just kind of like see what the island has to offer more than anything else. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you'll run into animals and stuff like this. And then one of the things Chia can do, that's her name, that's Chia, is she can just like jump into animals. Oh, okay. Which is cool. That's um, very cool. Have, they usually have special abilities. I don't think this one does, but like you can turn into like a bird and like fly around and poop on stuff <laughs> like, oh, finally. or you can yeah finally or you can be like a warthog and you can dig for things and stuff like that um these guys i think i think just run fast um and also the other thing can I, I don't know if i can climb these bamboo trees okay i can't climb these trees but most if, if it's like a tree with like a a thicker uh trunk you can actually climb up and um uh, like fling yourself off, which I'll make sure I do before before the uh, end of this video here. Uh, these trees just happen to be too. Um... Oh no, I can. Okay, Ooh. see, all right. I love this. This feels great. Yeah, this um, is you cool. can kind of like swing back and forth and then launch yourself, which is which is awesome. Is there fall damage? Is there damage at all? Actually, <laughs> uh, there is. It, it, yeah, you don't really have like proper health because it's really not a dangerous place like they're really not trying to make this a scary intimidating place like this these are like the closest thing to enemies in the game let's see if i can hit one and i kind of just like set them on fire or try to anyway by turning into the turning into the lamps but even these you know they're not really like trying to hit me necessarily I'm doing this all wrong. Let's see. So Music I'm trying to do. So you, cool. al along with the animals, you can also turn into inanimate objects. And what I want to do is basically, I'm trying to like throw it at them. Oh, mm. Let me go. Oh, they got me again. Let's see. Oh, okay. So you can, <laughs> you know, you can die, so yes. to speak. But you're just, you, you know. You get captured. Oh, they got you trapped in a little cage. I don't even know how to get out of here. Oh, I can get out. I can do this. Yeah, you gotta watch out for the fuel cans by the cages. All right, let's try this. There we go. See, I was I was trying to get all fancy by turning into the lanterns. What I really should have been doing is just is just grabbing them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like this uh, music nope. a lot. Yeah, the music's really fantastic. Lost that lamp. Here, come here. Where are you? 
Did I get him? Yeah. You did it. So that's like, those are, you know, enemies, but I, I, I hope it came across that they're like, you know, I'm not like walking up to them and punching them and like hitting them with a sword. You know what I mean? Yeah. You kind of have to like figure out your own sort of uh, uh, system of like how to burn them and take them out. And so you're not, it's like, it just feels different. It's not like tr combat in the traditional sense, you know? Mm -hmm. And so are you um, possessing like animals and objects to like an environmental puzzles type of thing? Like you might need something underground so you know to go get a warthog and dig or a bird would get you high up on a mountain, for example. Yeah, I think so. Like, it's funny, I because it, it's so open-ended at this point of what I've played that, like, I really haven't encountered anything like that in my sort of limited, admittedly, playtime of, like, giving me very specific tasks of, like, hey, make sure you, you know, like you said, you need to get underground, so find something that digs. Like, I haven't mm -hmm. run into that. Oh, is that too far away? I was trying to get that bird. Let's see, maybe I can get it. Because I actually want to fly. Here we go. There we go, and I'm a pigeon. And I'm actually, I'm gonna head towards the L. You don't really, your map doesn't really function like, um, like it's not like an on-screen map. I can pull it up like this, but you you're, you don't see Chia on, like, on yeah. the map. Like you don't see directly where she is. The island is just, the map is very detailed, and so that's kind of like how you, um, figure out where you are like you can even pull up the map and hit a button let me maybe i can find it real quick oh shoot that where she doesn't where she says like uh, yeah here where am i and she says ah, i'm i'm kind of around here okay you cool. know so you just kind of have to like look at the sort of context of oh um what's going on here like what uh, there's that river there i can see down on the map and initially i was like oh that's kind of like scary like I don't know if I want it to be that complicated I guess you could say mm -hmm. but it's actually kind of charming and um and sweet to hear her say like I think I'm around here and then the 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 map the world is pretty diverse and interesting like you, you know over here it's very yellow over the other side of the river is very green so it's it's not that hard to look at the map and kind of figure out where you are and where you need to go that's um, cool. also yeah. I, I didn't mention like Breath of the Wild you can climb just about any surface. Oh, excellent. And you have stamina. Um, and I think well, what we'll do is I want to uh, show this one <laughs> weird cutscene, which will kind of offer up some some of the tone that Chia is going for, which is kind of strange and unexpected, but I, it ca caught me off guard in the best way, where I was like, oh, okay, I, I guess this is, okay, this is a weird game, <laughs> but in a way that, that I like it, I think is cool. So this is my friend that I met earlier, and we're getting some food together. We're getting some chicken. Oh, no. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> it's weird, though, right? It, like, it, oh. it's, <laughs> it's just not, not what I expected from no. a game where you're playing as a little girl exploring an island. It's like, yeah, there's a cutscene where you behead a chicken so you can make some <laughs> that's actually really funny i like that a lot <laughs> yeah and there is something in the beginning actually where it's it gives you it offers you the ability to like skip these kinds of things if you if you want it's like i, I forget how they word it exactly but it's kind of along the lines of like you know there's some strange sensitive stuff in this game if you want you know to skip that weird stuff and keep it a very you know g-rated experience we can do that for you and 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 i imagine that that's um the kind of cutscene it would it would skip normally you know yeah. what i mean that makes sense uh, that is cool though i like that um that isn't what i expected to happen <laughs> yeah right exactly all right let's get him let's see uh this is um photography uh let's see bad framing it's just teaching me how to use the camera here there we go but yeah chia um it's coming to playstation 4 and 5 and pc and then um on the developer's website which i'm not totally sure how to pronounce their name it's a w a c e b uh Awakab maybe oh i saw that on the all camera. they have lists yeah, yeah, that was a nice little uh, Easter egg there. Uh, all they have listed on their site is that it's coming early 2023. Um, 
And um, I, I'm impressed so far. Just a very open-ended, pleasant exploration game uh, inspired by the land of New Caledonia, sort of visually and thematically, and then mechanically inspired by Breath of the Wild, uh, which is, you know, the key to my heart, basically. Key to all of our hearts, yeah. I'm especially yeah. excited because the, the very chill nature of this game, I wish it was out right now because um, I just finished Fire Emblem Engage, and that was like 50 hours, and I could use something relaxing now <laughs> right yeah just something that. more chill yeah yeah this definitely seems like uh a chill experience is what they're going for for sure yeah it's gorgeous too especially that water i want to like drink it <laughs> i mean it's probably salt water so i wouldn't drink it but uh, that's fair but I, I get what you're saying but yeah so that's chia thanks wes thanks for taking a look with me yeah thanks for uh showing me this game looks great